okay so today we are going to make a wing using the naka 4 digit series okay so for that first we need to create a new part design uh, for that in, in this there is one uh, new thing go for start shape and generative shape design okay now going to the excel sheet which i have already uploaded you can just need, need to download okay it's below you can have a look there so here you can see this is the naka 4 it says 4412 you can change this coordinate also parameters so according to this see you can see the corresponding changes happening here so i'm just taking the naka 4412 digit series so we are here we are getting the coordinates xyz coordinates so just copying it right click copy pasting it on the another slide sheet okay this this is also i already uploaded paste option one two three by the by the serial order again going back to this not that we have to copy from this point not from zero zero because we already already, take, already taken zero zero so copy and pasting it over here from 2026 same process right, right click and paste now just exporting the catia these points exit so here you can see this we have got this points okay zooming it you can see the clearly the points are appeared this is the easiest way to draw a naka series aerofoil shape no way you can find this kind of thing stuff i'm damn sure so just delete one point from here because we need a clear trailing edge clear sharp trailing edge okay so going for the spline to join these points so just add the points respectively don't miss any point if you want to have a proper order or correct naka series airfoil shape Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here's a hack. You need to make sure or take the precautionary precaution to not select the plane. Select only points. done preview okay so now we can see this okay now going for scaling to get the accurate aerofoil shape surface sorry operations going for scaling option so selecting this aerofoil shape now selecting the hard vertical plane okay that is yz plane i taking the ratio to be 1000 okay, you, can, you can see this further again scaling option here so let's say selecting this geometry now selecting the horizontal plane this you can see the edifice shape now here preview okay now hide this now tools going for high option to the all points okay 
now just saying it yeah now it's looking good again for uh, this uh, this is the aerofoil that is near to the fuselage means attached to the fuselage so we need a another draw material also here so for this again going for option scaling setting this and going for again vertical plane for this time giving 0.6 preview okay again selling it the new geometry horizontal plane 0.6 preview okay hiding it now going for insert operations and uh, where are you translate to translate this to the uh, to the to some distance to make a perfect wing so select the direction it should be a horizontal direction this like, let, let's suppose it should be 4000 mm preview you can see this fine now hiding this now you can see the wing aerofoil shapes now in seat surface going for multi section surface to join the two geometries this and this you can see this a wing which is totally perfect which, which is which is perfect see the aerofoil shape it has no complications okay it is aerodynamically proven further you can add, add the stringers bars or anything you want going for surface fill command to fill these edges again the same insert surface fill this okay as completed and also change the color from here and then in the, in the next video I'll tell you how to add the stringers bars and ribs to the to this wing yeah, okay thanks